Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco uh, coming back at you for another drive. This is going to be our test route one, and we're going to see how it does this morning. Um, we're going to go from there. We're going to go to Target, then to Asheville, and then we're going to do those tests and then back home from there. Uh, it's going to be a whole day of testing, and I'm very very excited to see what has improved. This, this potentially can have a lot of changes. So the test route one we did on 10.9. Well, we didn't do anything of Asheville since 10.8, I believe. Not even 10.8 that one. It's been a while since we've done Asheville. And so we have new map data. If you didn't see, I have the new 2021 map data. I used to have 2020 map data. And my previous video in Saluda, fixed several of my issues. The map data is now correct. And so it turns at the right place and doesn't try and turn at the wrong place, and etc. Uh, some ice on the road right there. Let's see what it does if it slows down right here. Well, it tried to slow down. See, because this, this, oh, that's better. Oh, oh, is it gonna do it? Oh, and it's still going over to the right side of the road. See, it's slow. It's so unconfident. It's just gonna launch it right here at full acceleration. Oh, and there's a truck right here. See, that's the thing. Look at this. There's a truck right here. Please don't get a rock chip. Like, so that I'm gonna go ahead and um, do again. We didn't disengage. But um, that right there, I think it's going to be fixed at full stack. Once they combine the two logics, um, but having to swap over when you're merging on the highway, it just can't, like, it doesn't, like, acknowledge, hey, hey, there's a vehicle. By law, you have got to yield to the vehicle, the flow of traffic when I'm merging. And so I can't just, either I have to accelerate and get in front of the truck, which is, wasn't reasonable in this situation, or I slow it down and get behind it. And all my car did is let's speed up and stay right next to it. Um, let's go ahead and get back up to speed. But yeah, that um, wasn't the most ideal situation. Uh, but we got it snapshotted, so we'll see if Tesla can review that. friction brakes there which is unacceptable um, and it still gets over at the same time frame and I, don't, I honestly don't think they're ever gonna fix that uh, at least not until single stack uh, but again it should get over as soon as it possibly can right there now maybe it doesn't matter so much if there's no traffic around but if it sees a car emerging on the highway if there's a car behind me I don't know what that was about maybe the Sun why is it, why is it braking right here? Okay, besides the brake, it merged fine. I'm not sure why it started the brake right there, unless it was the sun. But yeah, going on the highway, unless it sees traffic around you, then I guess it's fine to, to do what it's doing. But if there's traffic around you, it needs to get off the highway as soon as possible. Especially if there's a car merging, that, that has to happen. Okay, good with the yellow light. I would have done that too. So a little bit better it seems. It's so hard to tell update over update. Um, with it reaccelerating after a car turns off. It could be better still. You can definitely feel it can be better. But 
Um, it's not going in the wrong direction, put it that way. Okay, so this is good. I'm very, I, I like that behavior. Oh wait, it's 35, that's why it's not doing it, okay. I thought it, <laughs> I thought it was slowing down, or not speeding back up for the red light, but it actually changed to 35 mile an hour, which is like a, felt slow. Um, so I'm used to going 40 on this road. Okay, um, that's interesting. So it changed yo and it immediately started putting on the brakes and I'm like, why is it putting on the brakes? Cause I, I hadn't realized it turned yellow yet. Um, I think it could have done that smoother, but I think it was appropriate for it to slow down. Now what we shouldn't do, and I'm not gonna let it do, is speed all the way back up to 45 mile an hour right there. Uh, because it is a 20 mile an hour speed limit right across this bridge. There's no reason it should be speeding up to 45 to jam on the brakes again to get back to back to 20. So we got a car in my blind spot. And it's gonna wanna change lanes right here. Um, right past this light. It's, you can tell it's slowing down and not turning its blinker on. Now, yeah, good behavior. Turn the blinker on after you've slowed down to get behind it. That's that's exactly what I personally want to see, is it shouldn't just keep the blinker on the entire time. Now, coming up is our critical test. This is what almost always messes up. A few versions have made it, or we'll see if 10.10 can make it as well. Again, like this car, it should turn on the blinker right here. No, no, don't. Okay. This is wrong. It shouldn't have done that. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. It did it. It did that right for that lane. It did it right, but he needs to get over. This is not the correct lane where I'm going. I'm going right after that. Um, this is not the end of this drive. We'll uh, continue after this. And I'll see you once we're back on the road. Okay, let's re-enable this. So so far, so good. I don't want to jinx us, but um, zero disengagement so far in this drive. Everyone's looking good. I'm so far really happy with 10.10. .10. It seems like almost everything is better. Uh, a few oddities, like it got in the wrong lane uh, back there. At least, it's technically not the wrong lane, it's just not the appropriate lane, I suppose. Um, people do it all the time, especially people not from this area, but you should be in the left lane right there. Now our big test, is it gonna get in these turn lanes up here? That's uh, gonna be a major test for us. Whether or not it's gonna get in the turn lanes, we'll find out here in a sec. So right here is our big test, is it gonna do it? Yep, that's a disengagement, everyone. And I purposely kinda of jerked the wheel a little bit harder, so maybe like they see that feedback, I'm like, oh, he had to jerk the wheel back. Like, maybe this is more serious. I don't know, but um, that's definitely a disengagement, and I don't know why that's regressed. I, I'm pretty sure, wow, even that one regressed. You can clearly see the turn lane right there. Okay. It sucks, because the rest of the drive was fantastic. And then you get these turn lanes, and I know we're just going to go straight into the turn lane. I don't know why. I, my only reasoning is that because people let the car do what it wants to do, I've had a lot of commenters be like, hey, just let the car go through the turn lane and correct itself. I'm like, that's not, that's dumb. That's really quite dumb. Like, we shouldn't be allowing the car to do the wrong thing. That, that means we're training it and telling it it's okay to drive in the turn lanes when it should stay in the straight lane. Like, that's not okay. I don't see why anyone thinks that's okay for us to be letting it stay in the turn lane. 
So right here is the same thing, it's gonna mess up here as well. Sucks, unfortunately. Um, so that's three disengagements strictly because of one issue and that it can't stay out of the turn lanes. I've only had two drives ever, ever, period, on any version. Two different versions, but two drives ever where it ever made that successfully this entire route uh, with zero disengagements and without going into the turn lane. So that was good how it cut the corner. We're actually stopping right here and we're not going all the way up, up the mountain. Um, this is going to be the end of this drive, everyone. Unfortunately, that was great until the very end. Um, definitely could have been better. And they also got rid of um, low speed reversing. Um, you used to be able to, like, like right now it's 2 mile an hour. Okay, maybe, well, maybe it worked. Anyways, um, that's going to be the end of this video, everyone. Um, if you have questions, put them down below. I think there are several small improvements. Um, I'm looking for the turn lane issue to be fixed, and that's that is strictly a vision issue, not a mapping issue. I'm sure you can map um, turn lanes, but there's even if the map data was completely wrong, the car should be like, "Hey, I recognize that as a turn lane. We should not go into turn lane unless we're about to turn up ahead." It doesn't make any sense. And this guy's like, like, come on. <laughs> I don't know why he's waiting for me. I'm not blocking the road. He had plenty of room. So I'm not sure why. He, whatever. Um, like, clearly, look. That's accurate. Like, look at how much room he has. Anyways. Um, yeah, I'll end it there, and we're going to go on the target. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.